Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today we are doing lesson three of chapter five. This is, the title of the lesson is Function Tables and Graphs. The learning objective is to use function table to generate and graph order pairs. Okay, this is what we're doing today. Today's date is the 6th of April 2022. Uh, I'm recording this for you because I know some of you are absent and you will be at home. So hopefully you can log in and uh, review from here. Okay. There's a couple of keywords before we start the lesson, so I want you to write down keywords. Key words. Right, anybody can work out what are the keywords for today? Right, the first one is written here. Function is the first keyword. Okay, so keyword is function. Okay, so that's a function. And also another keyword that we'll be learning today is input. Input. And also we will learn today output. Output. Alright, so those are the key words that we need to learn within the lesson today. Okay, first of all, I just want to explain what is function. Function is an instruction of something being done. Like for example, if you put something from a machine on this side and you do something to it, something else will come out. Okay? We use that in algebra. So for instance, let me give you an example of a function. If I have x, or if I say 2x plus 3, Okay, so our input will be x. If we say two times a number plus three, this is an order, this is an instruction. Okay, the input is the x, it could be varied, it's a variable, so it could be different numbers. Okay, and the output of what happens here when we put a number, then the outcome will become y. So we will call this, the output will be equal y. So y equal 2x plus 3. Already this looks like an equation. So the equation is an instruction of a function. So which one is the input? The x, the variable of the x is the input. Okay? The output is the, will be the y. So this will be the output. The output, okay? So let's try an example. Let's put some number in. I put, let's say, one here. Let me put one. So if I put one here, I will replace x with what? With one, sir. So let me replace it. So if I take 2, replace the x with 1, plus 3, what will the outcome be? 2 times 1? 2. 2. Plus 3? 5. So what is my outcome? Five. Or what is my output? 5. Five. What is my input? One. 1. Exactly. So to do this, we need a table. Okay? Because we need to put in different different numbers so let's make a little table for ourselves on this table okay let me make a straight line because you know me i like the straight line so if i have a line here i will do another line here let's from this the line. yes let me just finish the first so you can see what is the line is all about so the first bit is going to be x. Our x is going to be the what? The input. The second one is going to be the instruction or what we call the function. Okay? 
And then the last one will be our outcome or or output, which is the y. Okay, so we're gonna use Okay, this is for the function. We're gonna use exactly like this one. But we don't have space. Yeah, we're gonna put it. One of a second. Okay, don't write anything. When, when I finish it, then you will see what it will look like. Okay? So, here now, I will put here the X. What is the X? The input, right? So, the input you will be given. You will be given any number. For example, you will be given minus 1. Okay? That's your first input. And then you will be given the instruction. Okay? Or the function instruction, which will be 2x plus 3. Okay? And here you will have the y. Y is the output. Are you with me? Okay, so let's do the first one. What is x? What should we replace with x? Uh, minus, one. minus 1. So we put here 2, always open bracket, put minus 1 plus 3. What will this become when we work out the outcome? 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. So minus 2 plus 3. What will minus 2? Plus 3b. That will become 1. That's the point. So this is our first outcome. Income or input minus 1, output 1. So this is our first instruction. You guys get that? Yes. Let's do now 0 because we have minus 1. If I put here 0 and I do the same thing on here. So replace the x again. If I replace the x with 0, then what will happen? What will work out? So 2 instead of x with 0 plus 3. Now who can give me one with the answer be here now? 2 times 0. 0 plus 3. 3. Thank you, Sultan. You are correct again. MashaAllah. Do you get the point? Input, output, so the output is the y. Okay, here is the instruction. The instruction or the rule. Some people call it the rule. What is the rule? Times it by 2 and add it by 3. Now let's do another one. If I put one here, can you work it out what's outcome is now? Who will you be? Uh, Replace again with that. Five. Okay, so let's work it out. Two times one Two. plus three. Five. The answer is? Five. Do you guys get that? Yes. MashaAllah. Now I tell you five. Well done. Now, without me telling you what to do, you can just put in the number, right? Yes. Let's go for it. I will put down here two. And I will put here 3, and I will put here 4, and I will put here 5. Okay, let's leave it up to 4. Let's go. I'm going to give you a chance to work this out for yourselves. Okay? Those of you who are at home, I would like you to try as well. Okay? And then we will we'll, we'll do it together. Right. We are just going to quickly look around and see who is doing the good job. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. Great. Amazing. Well done, well done. Where's your outcome? Outcome wants to be in the back, right? How's your outcome coming up? Great, so you have five to answer. Great, great. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. So where's your outcome? I need your outcome. 
Make sure you learn a little bit straight. Okay? If you learn a little bit straight, you might miss some the thing. So try to make the lines straight. Okay, so well done. I can see some of most of you have worked out. Well, let's do the second one. Again, replace the what the X with two. So here what we will have? Someone else? Out of the two times? Two times two? Yes, go for it. Two times two? Four. Four, four plus three? Seven. seven. So outcome is? Seven. Seven, great. MashaAllah. Let's do the next one now. You ten. Two times what? Uh, three. Three. Replace the X with the three. Nine. Plus nine. three. Two times three is? Six. Six plus three? Nine. Nine. Well done. I think you get in the hand of it. Go for it. Four times. Four times two? Is? Eight. Eight plus three? Eleven. This would be eleven. There we go. That's what it is. That's easy, right? Do you all understand it? Yes. Do you all get it? Yes. Can you show me your finger? Do that. If you get it. Great. Well done. Well done. I feel a lot of time like this. MashaAllah. Just one little thing I need to remind you before I give you the worksheet. If you, if you remember we got this uh, integer multiplication. If you multiply negative times negative, what do you get? Positive. You get positive. If you multiply negative times positive, what do you get? Yes. You get negative. <laughs> yes? Remember that. This is really important. It will help you to work it out. Because some of the is numbers... Is that when it was limited? Yes. Uh, I always remember this. You remember that this because I teach you myself, right? Yeah, I always okay. remember this. One other thing I want you to remember. If you are adding, if you are adding a small, big number with a negative. So say, minus 5 plus 2. What will the answer be? Minus 5 plus 2, what will that be? Minus 3. Minus 3, minus three. thank you. As long as the big number has got the negative, yeah. you still take away, what but the answer, the answer will carry the negative, so this will be negative 3. What if, the, what if it's the other? If it's the opposite, if we have minus 2 plus 5, this will just be take away, which will just be normal 3. Okay? You understand? So remember that. That's really important. So you will need this when you work it out. One other thing I need to remind you before I give you the work. If you have 2x squared and you replace the, the x with 2, how will you do it? Like you take 2 and you have to put a bracket, put it instead of x, put 2 or 3 or whatever, and then you square that. Yes, so what is 2 squared? 2 squared means 2 times 2. Yeah, because the so that will give you 4. So you have 2 times 4, which will be 8. Remember that, that will also help you to work out. You guys get it? Yes. Are you ready for the worksheet? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go, let's go for it. Right. Okay, are you ready for here to hand up it? Come on. Give one each and bring it to me the rest. Give one each and bring me to bed. Okay? This is really very simple. If you focus and listen to the teacher, you will not make a mistake. Okay. Here is a worksheet. I bring it big for you. So you don't have to throw all these lines. It will make your life a little bit easy. So those of you who are at home, who don't have access to this, or who do not have this, I just printed this directly from the book. All right. So this will be page two hundred and eighty-six. There we go. I just copied this for everybody, and I want you to work this on and see if you can get them correctly. Please, please, do not write on the book because someone else have to have to 
have to, you don't need the book, you have, I have built it for you. Do not write on this book, write, copy this into your book, or make a photocopy and then work on the sheets. And this is how it goes. And uh, good luck. I wish you all the best. I want you to do good job. Right, okay. Um, we're gonna have to stop here. Hopefully I will upload the rest of the lesson. And in case somebody needs more explanation, or in case somebody needs a lesson, or in case somebody gets sick, then they can also uh, log in. Please, you need to know, you know what to do now? Yes. What do they need to do? Wait, Subscribe, do like, and share. Yes, that's what I'm going to say. Goodbye guys, have a nice day, but finish the work.